I wrote the paper. I did the research. All it did was fix my grammar and my punctuation. This student is so frustrated. AI is everywhere these days, including in some places you may not realize. This university junior found that out the hard way. Marley Stevens used a very popular writing plugin called Grammarly while working on a paper for her criminal justice class. Now, Grammarly says 30 million people use this tool, and it does what you may expect. It catches spelling errors, typos, grammar issues. But when she submitted her work to the professor, she was surprised to find she he was given a zero on the assignment. It turns out that Grammarly uses generative AI, and a detection service flagged it for the teacher as unintentionally cheating. Now, the kicker, though, her school, the University of North Georgia, had Grammarly listed on its own website as a tool for students to utilize. And this back and forth began in December. Grammarly was not taken down from this website until just a few weeks ago. We did reach out to the university for comment. We have not yet heard back. But Marley Stevens joins us now along with Jenny Maxwell from Grammarly itself. And Marley, Jenny, welcome both of you. And I do want to start with you, Marley. I understand you are still on academic probation. You're still fighting this three months later. And you've been working to clear your record because you got a zero on this uh, on this assignment. Your GPA has tanked. Your scholarship is on the line now. Were you shocked when you got that zero on the paper and you were put on probation? I was. At first, when I got the email where he told me that he was putting, that he gave me a zero, I thought that he had sent the email to the wrong person because I worked super hard on my paper and I had been writing my papers the same way all through college. And so he sent me this email and I was like, did he get me confused with someone else? Like, what happened? Yeah, and meanwhile, you thought maybe that was a simple mistake. Would you have ever envisioned you're still fighting this three months later, a whole scholarship might be on the line? I really did not. I didn't think that my scholarship would be on the line. I didn't think that I would be on academic probation. Um, I'm on probation until February 16th of next year. Wow. Uh, and this started when he sent me the email. It was October. So I didn't think that now in March of 2024 that this would still be a big thing that was going on. Now, to your knowledge, are, are, are your other classmates also using Grammarly? Yes. So it, it's recommended on the school website. Um, they did take it down for about three hours. And when I realized that they took it down, I posted a TikTok about it. And then magically it reappeared mm -hmm. on the school website. Um, so I know lots of people. I have a teacher this semester who told me in an email, like, yes, use Grammarly. It's a great tool. And they advertise it. So I never thought that that would be a problem. But I know all kinds of people who use it, whether they're in college or not. Yeah, Jenny, I want to bring you in here. I mean, Grammarly does use AI technically. Explain why this is not cheating for students to use. Yes, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm really excited to, to share our opinion about this. Uh, Gr Grammarly has been the preferred writing partner for students and now professionals for over 15 years. Um, our, our AI engine inside of it helps people uh, create better writing experiences that are grammatically correct, um, have fewer spelling issues. Um, we've recently added a generative engine within Grammarly, and we do it in a way that allows students to maximize the impact of the technology, but do it in a responsible way, in a, in a way that allows them to cite and share with, with their faculty or professors when they've used it and how they've used it. Yeah, and, and since losing your appeal, I know that you've started a GoFundMe as well. And Jenny, I know Grammarly itself has stepped in and donated $4,000, I believe. Uh, what are the next steps here, uh, both of you? Uh, um, Marley, we'll start with you. Um, as far as next steps, I can't go too far into it. Um, I have been in contact with a lawyer of, in a way, um, and we have had some conversations. But as far as the school goes, there's nothing else that I can do directly with them. They told me that since I didn't get suspended, expelled, or kicked out of a program, that appealing my hearing decision was not an option. Um, and so I don't, th as far as the school goes, there's nothing else I can do. Um, mm. But I have had meetings with some people from Grammarly, including Jenny, and they've been very helpful. Um, but there's not, 
there doesn't seem to be a clear path forward. Yeah. I, I understand. And, and, you know, Jenny, one more question for you. You know, AI is such a hot topic right now. It's a divisive topic. Do you think this is a case of, of just not understanding this tool of fear getting in the way? And unfortunately, the, the casualty in all of this is Marley. I think so. I think um, education is wrestling right now with how they need to evolve the way that they assess writing, particularly in higher education. We offer a unique perspective on this. We have 70,000 teams globally, worldwide, that, that use Grammarly at work. So we, what we know is this new world of work that these students are trying to be prepared for involves AI. And we see ourselves as a, a great partner in helping institutions and organizations craft their policy around what is safe and acceptable uh, usage of it. You, they have to lean in. It's not going away. And, and so that's sort of our position in it. And we're really excited to work with Marley on, on, on what student perspectives we need to keep in mind as we think more about the responsible use of this technology. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.